Quite often we celebrate feasts of saints. So it's really refreshing to uh, have the spotlight on the angels for a change. We love our saints, but today our focus on, is on angels. Saints and angels differ in their nature, as we all know. You know, saints are spirits that were once united to a human body. Uh, while angels are spirits without a body, they're non-corporeal. Well, just last Friday, we celebrated the feast of the archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, which is not to be confused with today's feast of the holy guardian angels. But they're very much connected as both archangels and guardian angels belong in the same group in the hierarchy of angels. So if you don't already know, there are nine orders of angels. Okay, at the very top and the closest to the most holy trinity are seraphim, then cherubim, and thrones. And right in the middle, in the middle category, are dominions, virtues, and powers. And surprisingly, at the very bottom, the bottom category, the bottom most category, that you have, you have principalities, archangels, and angels or guardian angels. Can you imagine that? The archangels, second to the bottom. Now, well, today we, we pay special homage to the guardian angels, the lowest order of angels. But don't let that deceive you, though. Just because they're low doesn't mean they're not important. You know, they're at the very bottom of the hierarchy, not because they lack power. Oh, they have power. Believe me, they do. They're at the very bottom because they have the unique role of being the closest to us human beings, making it possible for them to communicate with us in the most direct way possible. One good example of this involves uh, St. Padre Pio. Uh, Padre Pio found a secret way to keep an immediate contact with his, with his many spiritual children around the world. And how did he do this? Well, he did this by advising them to send their guardian angels to him. So often it was through the guardian angel of a person that their requests were answered. Almost immediately, practically immediately. So think about that for a second. If you are experiencing trouble or conflict with another person, well, you might consider telling your guardian angel about your situation and have him or and have your guardian angel uh, meet the guardian angel of the other person with whom you have a disagreement. So, and I also encourage you to read the story, read more of Padre Pio, St. Padre Pio, um, especially stories uh, involving guardian angels because he dealt a lot with, with angels. They are extraordinary creatures, no question about that. It is why on this feast day of the guardian angels, it's a good idea to reflect on how our guardian angels have actually helped us avoid physical dangers or sticky situations, especially if this will help us achieve salvation. Anyone who has narrowly escaped death is likely to appreciate the existence of guardian angels. I don't know, if, has any one of you ever uh, cheated death? No? You, yeah, I think some of us have. Um, I'm no exception. I'm thankful that I'm here, <laughs> standing in front of you, talking, alive. Um, I've had a few. Um, one, thing, one that I can remember vividly is that I had a terrifying incident uh, while driving on Skokie Highway. Uh, near Lake Forest, uh, where the speed limit, I think the speed limit is like 55 or 60, but a lot of cars go like 70, 75, 80, despite the presence of traffic lights along the stretch of the road. 
Well, the light had turned yellow. You know that situation when the light turns yellow. Should I stop? Should I go? You, you know. Well, I made a split decision to come to a complete stop. Unbeknownst to me, a ginormous 18-wheeler was coming at full speed from behind with no intention to stop. Looking in my rearview mirror, I thought for sure this is it. He's going to plow into me. Well, he missed me by a hair as he swerved around. And I have no doubt that my guardian angel was with me that day. And on a much joyful note, on a much lighter note, I had another, uh, another uh, a moment, uh, an angelic moment, I guess you could say. Uh, I was at Creighton University uh, when I was in seminary. I spent a summer at Creighton University. Uh, one morning, I was in a hurry, I was running late, so I ran to catch an elevator. The elevator was crowded, but thankfully I, I, got, I managed to get on the elevator um, and found a little space in the corner. Well, as the, doors as the doors began to close, it was suddenly stopped by an arm that reached in suddenly, and in that, that arm, was very, it was very visible to everyone, and in that hand, was a wallet. It was my wallet. I, quick, I, I, I recognized my wallet right away, so I quickly grabbed it from the hand of this mystery person. But when I tried to see who it was, he quickly vanished. And I asked the people who were uh, with me on the elevator, if they saw the person, if they recognized the person, and if they could describe him or her for me. I got nothing but blank faces. No one saw the person. Now mind you, they must have seen him or her because the doors were still ajar. And he reached his hand in. So somebody must have seen that person, but Everyone st looked at me with, uh, with a blank face. But one lady said to me on that elevator, that was your guardian angel, quote unquote. And I tried to look for that person, but uh, uh, with no success. So when you hear extraordinary stories that you can't explain, such as incredible stories of, of people being involved in horrific car accidents, but miraculously survived unscathed, or someone being rescued by an unidentified person who just myster mysteriously disappeared. You know there's a much higher power involved. They are our guardian angels, intelligent, non-corporeal non beings created by God and assigned to each of us from the time of our baptism to watch over us. Today, let's take a moment to thank God for his angels, his secret agents, who are always at our side and acting on our behalf. So together in the presence of our guardian angels, let us pray the Angeli Day prayer that we all learned as a child, shall we? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining us today. Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. Daily and Sunday Mass, Funerals, weddings, and fireside chats, among other things, can be seen locally, throughout the country, and even the world, in real time or at one's convenience. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org, click on the gold donate button, and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. 
Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.